a friend of mine just had surgery, so I want to make her a get well card that's bright and cheerful. The Hello Sunshine Stamp TV kit, along with the assorted greeting stamp set, will be the perfect combination to brighten her day. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to do this card project. First, you're going to need some cardstock, and I'm using the Gina K Designs Heavy Base Weight White Cardstock for my card base and some layering weight for my focal images. Then you're going to need some of the pattern paper from the new Hello Sunshine Stamp TV kit. You can also pick up this Hello Sunshine pattern paper pack by itself if you already have the kit and you're running out or you have some other stamps that you think will work. Then you're going to need some ink and I'm using the Memento ink and the colors I have are Bahama Blue, Pear Tart, the new Love Letter, and Tuxedo Black. You're also going to need some ribbon and I'm using some of the Carnival Blue ribbon from the new Hello Sunshine Stamp TV kit. This is also sold in a pack of ribbon uh, in our ribbon assortments called the Carnival Assortment. And then I'm going to use the Bow Easy to make a little double looped bow, which I'll show you in a bit. I'm also going to use some adhesive and a glue dot, and these are the small glue dots. And then I'm going to use some stamps, and the stamps that I've chosen first, I have one of the tall flowers from the new Hello Sunshine Stamp TV kit. And then I have two of the greetings. One is the Get Well Soon greeting, and this is from the new Assorted Greetings stamp set. This is this month's One Free with Three. So when you purchase any three full-size stamp sets, this stamp set comes free. And what I love about this stamp set is it has the perfect greeting for outside the card, and then it has a coordinating greeting for inside the card. And there are several different choices ranging from get well and thank you to all kinds of different things that you can use in your collection. So to begin, I'm going to stamp the flowers. And what I've done here is I've cut three little panels. And this is in the 80 pound Gina K Designs white cardstock. And these panels measure one and a half inches across by uh, three and three quarter inches long. Now, all of the measurements will be at stamptv.com. So if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, you can visit our website and either click on the main page or click on the videos page to find the video, and all the measurements will be right under the screen. So I'm going to start with the Love Letters, Love Letter ink, and I'm going to ink up this stamp, and I'm going to stamp that right on one of these little strips. And I'm going to lean in here because this is a tight fit, so sorry if my head got in the way there. So there's my first little sprig of flowers. Now I'm going to clean that stamp because I'm going to ink it up again using some of the Bahama Blue. The Bahama Blue is such a nice match to our Carnival Blue cardstock. All right, and again, I have to lean in here so I don't extend past the top of that strip. There's my second little sprig of flowers. And my last color is going to be the Pear Tart. Since this is a get well card, I really wanted it to be bright and cheerful, and these bright summer colors are just perfect for that. Plus these colors match all of our colors in the Hello Sunshine kit and pattern paper pack, which is really nice. So there, now I have three little sprigs. Now I'll tell you, that would be just a little bit more difficult to do if you had this stamp set in rubber. So if you do have it in rubber, you can tape these little strips down onto a piece of scratch paper and then use the stamp -a jig to line them up perfectly. Although our rubber stamps are cut pretty close, you may be able to do it, but if you really want to be exactly precise so that each one is exactly the same, you might want to use the stamp -a jig Okay, so now I've got three little strips of pattern paper that coordinate with my three little flower sprigs. And these are cut to one and three quarter inches by four inches. And so these little one and a half inch by three and three quarter inch panels fit nicely on top. 
Okay, so now to line these three panels up onto this piece of cardstock may seem pretty easy to do, but sometimes it'll be too close to the edge like that, or sometimes it'll be too close to the top. And once you get them stuck on there, it's kind of hard to get them off because pattern paper is a little bit thinner. So here's a little tip. This is just a piece of very, very inexpensive copy paper, super cheap paper, the real thin 20 pound bond. And I'm going to lay these out side by side onto this little piece of copy paper. And it doesn't matter if I get it on straight on here, I just want to cover it up. And then I'll have one solid panel that I can adhere to my card base and line it up perfectly. So I'm just going to add a little bit of tape to this and just stick it on there anywhere. And now I want to make sure that they line up nicely. So this one I'm going to be careful with. Make sure that lines up. And my last one, same thing. I want it to line up top to bottom. And because this copy paper is so thin, you're not going to see it on the card base itself, but it just gives you a nice little guide there so that you can tape that onto your card base and line it up so you've got an even frame around the whole outside. I always keep little pieces of copy paper on my desktop anyway in case I need to write down a measurement or something like that so it's nice to have a few pieces cut up. All right and now I'm going to place that right on top. There we go. And that was a lot easier than trying to do them one at a time. You can see how nice and straight that looks. Now I'm going to place these on top and that'll be pretty easy to do because you just have to center them on the little panel of pattern paper. And you can see how nicely that Love Letters ink matches our Carnival Red. So there's one. And now the blue one. And again, I want to make sure they line up top to bottom well. There's the second one. I think I'm going to move that one over just a hair. With the dot adhesive, you've got a shot to pull it off real quick before you completely, before it becomes permanent. And sometimes it's not that it's not centered, it's just that the pattern in the paper makes it look not centered. So I don't really know if I moved it or not, but it just feels a little better to me. And the final one. There we go. Okay, so now I have my three little groups of flowers. Now I'm going to make the little greeting on the outside that says, um, get well soon. What I've done is I've cut a little tiny strip of the pattern paper that I used back here. Now this strip is actually um, just a, from a quarter sheet of pattern paper. I just cut a strip off of the short end. So it's the four and a half inches long and I just eyeballed it, so I'm not exactly sure how wide that is, but I just made it wide enough so that it looked like my greeting would fit on it. Just like that. You can see that. We'll zoom in a little. You can see. So I just kind of laid it on top, and if it covered, I knew the greeting would fit. Now I'm going to fold this in half, but not actually put a crease in it. So just kind of make a loop like that. And I'm going to line those edges up nicely because I want to make this look like a little banner and I'm going to cut along the one point down and then cut straighten that out again along the other point down and make a little kind of like a little flag a little banner like that you can see how that turned out. And now because I'm using the clear stamps again, I'm going to be able to see right through that and line that up pretty well. I'm going to stamp that using some of the black ink. Just ink up the greeting there. 
and line it up in the center. And there we have the little get well soon greeting. So that, get rid of the ink here, that's going to go just across the bottom of my flowers, right about there. And I can just apply that with a little bit of this dot adhesive and center it. I'm going to kind of make it look like the edges are going to the same spot on both stems, those little points. And there we go. So there's my little get well greeting. Now if you're going to mail this card, you could stop there or you could do a little cheater's bow by adding one of those little cheater's bows before you actually adhere this panel on. But I'm going to use the bow easy because this card I'm going to hand deliver so I don't mind having a little bit of a bulky bow. Let me cut a little edge off here so that it's a little easier to work with. And I'm going to use this side here. Now maybe I'll use this side. I'm going to, no, I think I'll use the bigger side. All right, I'm going to wrap this ribbon around this loop one time and then a second time. And now I can cut some of this excess away because I'm not going to need all of that ribbon. So I probably could have cut a little bit more. And if I was doing this at home, I probably would, but I don't want to take the risk of not having enough to... Uh, make a proper bow for you and having to start over. So now I'm going to feed this loose end right through that hole. Pull it up. Hmm, I could have used a little bit more of a tail there. Let me rewrap that. Well, I had to rewrap it anyway. <laughs> All right. I'll start with less of a tail on this side and wrap it around twice. Let's see if I have enough this time. And feed that little point through. I think that'll probably be enough. And then you can see I've got that little loop there. I'm just going to feed it right through that loop. And if it is a shorter piece of ribbon, you can use a pair of scissors to do that. And then pull right up onto. bow easy part here. Just give it a nice tug to make a tight knot. Sometimes you have to straighten the bow out to do that. And this particular piece of ribbon, this is a nice thicker ribbon, so it is a little bit tough if you don't have a long enough tail. So you might want to cut your tails just a hair longer. Okay, so now I have my bow, my double looped bow, and I'm going to spread those out so the loops show. like that. And I'm going to cut these little excess tails off. Do one there and one there. A little bit more of that one off. Okay. And I'm going to apply this whole bow to my card using a glue dot. And one little glue dot will hold this bow on pretty well. You can see the glue dot is right on there. And I'm just going to stick it to the back of the bow. Spread out those loops again. Position it and press. And there I have a cute little double looped bow. And if your loops won't stay open, you can also glue dot those down too if you want but I think that will be just fine, just like that. And there is my cute little get well card. Now, let me show you what I'm gonna do to the inside of this card. You can see I have the outside with get well soon. Now I wanna stamp a greeting on the inside. And I'm gonna play off of this carnival blue color by stamping that greeting using the Bahama blue ink inside. Ink up this stamp, and then I can see, there it is. Stamp that right in the center here. This is a nice greeting. With the warmest of wishes, this card comes to say, hope you feel better with each passing day. 
And I want to play off of the cover picture there. So I'm going to use that lighter ink, the pear tart. And I'm going to stamp this flower image on the inside as well. Now the pear tart is light enough so that even if you stamp into an area where you'd like to write a message, you can write right over it. I think I'll stamp it right there so the flowers kind of wrap around where that greeting is. And there is the inside of my card. My finished card project. Try this same sketch using pastel pattern paper and ink for a soft feminine look. Or try using neutral tone pattern papers and brown and tan inks for a more rustic feel.